Good morning or afternoon, actually. Welcome to a brand new video. Today is Saturday, November. So November 30th, Saturday morning. I'm sat here on the couch, about to have breakfast, a very late start to the day, uh, because Vera and I were sleeping in because we were very, very tired today. Now last video we had three sandwiches with peanut butter. Now it's two bread rolls with peanut butter. Oh my God, lovely. I thought I'd spoil, my, spoil myself today. Well, uh, having some bread rolls because they're very good and delicious. These are a little bit bigger, so a little bit more carbs per bread roll. So this is about the equivalent of three sandwiches with peanut butter. So I put some extra on it. So it's extra thick and extra creamy, which sounds super weird and disgusting. So this morning I weighed in at 68.8. Again, um, yeah. I would say my diet hasn't been 100% on par the last two days. So that's probably why I haven't touched 69 yet. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. You look good. Brush your teeth. Are you ready for gym? Otherwise, you then your dentist will be very mad at you. Okay, 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 little guy. <laughs> oh. Farah, hurry up. You're so s hey! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get ready. Yikes! Let's go. Okay. Um, so I just recorded the first set of the workout, and um, Vera comes up to me, and she's like, "Maybe we should make this a thumbnail." <laughs> um, she comes up to me. And she's like, "Jasper, something happened." I'm like, "What's going on?" She's like. I think we need to go home. She just ripped out of her pants. Yep. You want to show or no? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, so now we're yes. going home. Oh, will hide this stuff, but oh. we're going home. This sucks. But now we have more time to shop. This is so sad. This is so sad, yeah. <laughs> oh, I needed, I needed so workout sad. footage for my video, but now I guess I have to do it Monday. And I just wanted to work out. Yeah. Because Fuck. it's a Saturday and I, w I had a really busy time and I was so excited. I finally got to work out again. Yeah. And here we are going home because of my fucked up pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, shit happens. No, uh, let's go home. Let's try this another time. Let's try this another yeah. time, shall we? It's okay, now we didn't have a really a good workout, but we still have to eat because the calories and stuff. I made this for Vera. She never had this combination of things. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna have some, I have some leftover rice, some ground beef and some spinach. I'm gonna cook that up real fast and eat that. But Vera, this is- Oh my you. God, looks disgusting. Sit and eat, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. enjoy your food. So this is full of protein, a lot of carbs, this, uh, this whole meal. I mean, I didn't put the whole ba the whole scare because that's too much for you. The, I guess this would be like 30-ish grams of protein. Then we have obviously a lot of fruit. Oh my God, that's great because I burned a lot of nutrients in the gym. <laughs> you burned a lot of leggings in the gym. Yes. This is, this is the lunch post-workout meal that we got. This is pretty much some uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy stir fry. Rice with some uh, ground beef, a pretty fatty one, and some spinach should do for now. And then after that, when we go, we're gonna go shop a little bit. Some uh, New Year's outfits, some other stuff, maybe some Christmas stuff. Nice ass! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, boys. We're doing good. Hey guys, while well, you guys are gonna be watching the back and bicep workout that I did today because we have to do it again because obviously Vera ripped out of her leggings the day before. We're gonna talk about how to set up your own workout split. I got a lot of questions on Instagram. How to set up the workout split, uh, what to do, what exercises that to do. So that's why I'm making this video today to help you guys out if you are struggling to set up your own workout split and you don't want to pay for online coaching for someone or for me. Um, if you do want that, obviously the link is in the description. But if you don't, then hopefully I can help you out with some information. Now there's gonna be three things that I always look at when setting up a workout split. The first one is how many days do you want to go to the gym? Second of all is the exercise selection. And the third one is going to be volume. All obviously depends on your goal. But let's say, let's take me for example. When I started at the gym, I wanted to get bigger, build some muscle. 
and look better, you know? When I went to the gym the first time, I went like instantly straight on five, six times a week. If you cannot do that, obviously I get that. Maybe you only have two or three days. For example, if you only have two days in a week where you can go to the gym, I suggest you train a full body split twice. Same thing goes when you go to the gym three times a week, I would suggest doing a full body split. Once you go four, five or six times, I suggest you split up the body parts a little bit more. For example, for four days, I would usually go for a upper lower, upper lower split because you want to make sure you hit every single muscle at least twice a week. If you only eat it once a week and that's the bro split, you are training okay, but you're not training as effective as you can train while doing two times a week. For example, if you train chest on Monday and then train chest only again the next Monday, there is six days of period between where you don't hit your chest. The recovery is only 48 to 72 hours or two or three days. The three to four days that are, you are not recovering and you are, those days left in between there are pretty much lost days because you wait to hit the chest again on Monday. That's why you hit everything twice a week. It's more efficient. Obviously you will get more gains faster doing. So that's why I pick upper, lower, upper, lower if you go four days. Now you can do full body for four days, but you have to be a little bit more selective with the exercise choices that you do. Um, otherwise you will be overtraining, taking too much on per body part and not having enough time to recover from your previous workout. Now obviously when doing full body workouts, it's not really beneficial to do bench press three days in a row. It's still gonna be way too much in a three days period. So you really have to split it up in the seven days that you have. Again, if you can't do that, for example, you can go Monday, Tuesday, then you'll be, you have to be very selective with the exercise that you can do because otherwise you'll just, again, be overtraining. For a five and six day, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, there's a lot of variations. It all also depends on the days that you can go. But if I go five days, I usually do push, pull, legs, upper, lower split. I think it works best for the five days that you have. Obviously push is gonna be chest, shoulders, triceps, and pull gonna be um, back, biceps. Obviously the last one is gonna be legs, but I do the full legs. You can also have, for example, hamstrings on pool day, etc., etc. For six days, push, pull, legs twice a week, Great, that's what I've been doing for the past pretty much two years. I love it, it gives me six days of workout because some people do like to have six days in the gym or five. Sleep rest days are very important. If your body needs rest, your body, you have to listen to your body, obviously, if, you, if it needs rest, it needs rest. Then exercise selection. As I previously said, it depends on your split and it depends on what days you're gonna be hitting the gym. But obviously, the compound exercises are gonna be your main focus in every workout, pretty much, if you wanna gain muscle and get bigger. The compound exercises are gonna be the most important ones because that's where you get the most results from. Those are the big exercises like the bench, the squat, the overhead press, the deadlift, uh, where your body's gonna see the most amount of progress. Obviously, outside of that, it's gonna be all those isolation exercises and all that, and it's gonna be the diet, the proteins, all that stuff. But as far as exercise selection goes, the compounds are the most important. The third point is gonna be volume. Now, you don't wanna be under training and you don't wanna be over training. Uh, Jeff Nippert made a very good video, I will link it down in the description, uh, where he goes into very great detail on how volume works and with a new study. I believe that if you are starting out, you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced stuff and I feel like if you throw too much advanced stuff at someone who's a beginner, then it kind of discourages them to learn everything about it because there's just so much information. If, if, if there's too much information, you're probably gonna be like, oh, this is overwhelming, I hate this, I'm not gonna do this because it seems hard from the start. So I would say if I would have to give someone advice on to start, I would say to do between 10 and 20 sets or 10, like, 10 is even low for me. I would say maybe even 13, 14, 14, let's say 14 to 20 sets a week per muscle group. And that's going to be working sets. So that's going to be warm up sets. Warm up sets don't really count. It's going to be the, the sets that you are really pushing yourself and, and getting the numbers that you want to hit. So I would say between 14 and 20 sets per muscle group a week. So if you hit it twice a week, then obviously it's going to be 
uh, seven in one exercise, uh, one workout, and then seven in another makes 14, or 10, 10, uh, depending on how much the set uh, you will hit. And this is also something you can overload on. So obviously, you can start with 14 sets and then build to 20 sets. Obviously, you make a certain progress there. And with that progress, you stimulate the muscle to grow. So this could be a way to use progressive overload if, for example, you are stuck in a certain weight. This is how also you can progressive overload. That's pretty much how I think about setting up workout splits. How many days can you go? What exercise are you doing? And what is the volume that you will have to do if you wanna make significant gains? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you are new, subscribe to the channel, and uh, ring the bell because uh, notifications and stuff, you know how YouTube works, it doesn't really work. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.